Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be coding a BMI calculator in Python. Now the BMI, although some people might disagree with, uh, you know, it's representation of your overall health is still used today in many healthcare settings and I think it's a good way to practice your coding skills. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up your Python environment. I'm going to use Repl.it because it's super easy to spin up new projects in here and I'm just going to click um, the Python and I'm going to call it uh, BMI calculator. Go ahead, click create. And once we load in here, I'm just going to move the console off to the side and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better here. All right, guys, so you want to go ahead and open up your main.py file. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and click, or sorry, not click, type import math because we're going to be using some math functions later on here. And then we're going to go ahead and set up our main method. So let's go ahead and say if underscore underscore name double underscore is equal to double underscore main double underscore with a colon. So basically, if the method is main here, we're going to go ahead and do a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is welcome our users to the program. So welcome to BMI, or actually the BMI calculator, smiley face. Go ahead and enter them in. And now we're going to lay out the program um, in a few steps, and then we're going to write the functions that we're laying out here. So if you don't know how the BMI works, basically it takes your height and your weight. Um, and if you're using the imperial system, like the people who live in the United States, we need to actually do some conversions from pounds and um, you know inches over to meters and kilograms. But if you're using the metric system, like the, uh, the rest of the world, and probably most of you watching this video, um, you don't actually have to do any conversions. You can just uh, do it directly. So the, the two things we need from the user is weight and height. So we're going to say weight is equal to get weight, and that's going to be a function we have to write, and height is going to be equal to get height, and that is another function that we have to write. And then finally, once we have both of those numbers, we are going to go ahead and say um, our BMI is equal to calculate BMI, which will be a function we have to write that or takes in our weight and our height as two parameters. And then finally, once we have our BMI, we're going to say to the user, your final BMI is with a colon and a space. And then we're going to do a comma and then the BMI value here. And actually, let's make a modification to the print line. We're actually going to put an F here. That way we can embed a variable. And instead of doing this over here, we're actually going to put brackets. And this is where the math function comes in. We're going to round the BMI number that we have here to the second decimal place. All right, guys, now that we have our main method laid out, let's go ahead and start writing the actual methods that make this program operate. So first, let's start by writing get weight. So we're going to say um, def get weight. It's not going to take in any parameters and we're going to have a colon here. And what we're going to do is go ahead and prompt the user. So first we need to say our weight is equal to input and then the string that we want to, um, you know, output to the user. So we're going to say, please enter your weight in pounds. And I'm going to go ahead and do this in pounds. That way it um, is easy for everyone because people who live in the US watching this video can um, you know, just copy my code exactly. And people using the metric system can just um, ignore the conversions part and then just do the you know, height and weight directly in meters and kilograms. All right, guys, so when they enter in their weight in pounds, input, this input method here, is actually going to return a string. And if we're working with numbers, we can't be using strings. So we're going to cast this string here to a float. And then we're just going to go ahead and return the weight variable here. That is all it's going to take to have this function work. And it's super simple. And we're not going to account for any errors, no user validation loops. I'm just going to keep it really simple. So let's just prompt them for the weight, um, convert it, and then return it. And now let's move on to the next function, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. So we're going to say get height. No parameters once again and add a colon here. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and prompt the user once again. So we're going to say um, our input string is equal to input. And then we're going to say, please enter your height in feet and inches. And then we're going to give them an example in parentheses. Example would be, you know, five foot um, eight inches if that's how tall I was. And then a colon space after this in a closing quote and a closing parenthesis. Now, one thing we're going to have to do, and sorry, I actually accidentally put two double quotes here. Uh, we're going to have to escape this double quote in here. So go ahead and put a backslash there. 
That way that we still have the double quote um, in our printout to the user. So this should make it pretty simple um, and clear of what they need to enter. You know, they might be uh, four foot 11, they might be six foot three, but you need to say how many feet and then a single quote to denote that in feet and then another number for the amount of inches and then the double quote to denote that you're talking about inches. All right guys, so actually we're not doing any sort of casting to a float because first we need to um, split apart these numbers because obviously there's two important numbers that we need. We need the amount of feet and we need the amount of inches. I don't feel like asking two separate questions. It's easy to just combine it into one and split stuff um, back here with the code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, split string is equal to our input string that we just collected. And we're gonna say dot split. And the character we're going to split on is going to be this single quote character. And what that's gonna do is go ahead and, you know, the string five foot eight, for example. Oops, sorry. So wrong comment here. Um, so five foot eight, what's gonna do is it's gonna split it on this character. And it's gonna build an array of having um, five in the first index and eight, including the double quote in the second index. And that's gonna be stored in the split string variable. So now that we know that, there's a few things we need to do. And one of those is we need to um, get the feet. <laughs> that sounds really sounds really bad. Um, what I mean is we need to extract the amount of feet from the split string variable. So we're gonna say feet is equal to split string at one. And we're gonna go ahead and cast this to a float because we are working with numbers here and split string is going to be a string. So go ahead and just cast that to a float. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say inches is equal to, and here's gonna be a little bit more complicated. So we're gonna first have a float because we're gonna cast this all to a float. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we need to grab split string at the uh, second index. And I'm sorry, this feet variable up here should be zero instead of one. And the second one should be one. That way we're grabbing the right things. And then what we're gonna do is say dot strip. And if you notice, strip returns a copy of the string with the leading and trailing white space removed. That's like trim in many other languages, but you can also use it to remove an unwanted character. So if we go ahead and open parentheses here, we're not just trimming it, we're actually going to trim it and say that we wanna remove the double quote from in there. So the way you do that would be putting single quotes and then put one double quote in between those. That way it removes the white space, removes this double space, or sorry, double quote character, and then just returns the number by itself. Then we can cast that to a float and that's the amount of inches stored in that variable. All right guys, now that we have both the feet and the inches, now we know that we need to do some math and convert it to only using inches. That way it's easier to convert to meters later. So what we're gonna say is height is equal to, and then first let's convert our feet to inches. So we're gonna say um, feet times 12, because obviously there's 12 inches in every foot and we wanna put these in parentheses. That way it does the multiplication by itself before doing any sort of addition. So we're gonna do that plus the amount of inches stored in that inches variable. And then finally, we're just going to return our height. All right guys, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and remove this comment up here because we don't need it. All right guys, now we are finally ready to write our calculate BMI function here. So right below height, we're gonna say um, def is uh, calculate BMI. It's going to t actually take in two parameters. It's going to be the weight and the height. And we're gonna have a colon here. So the first thing we need to do is think about what we have and what we need to get to. We have um, our, our height and weight, but the problem is it's stored in pounds and inches. So first let's convert them. And then we're gonna use those numbers to actually calculate the BMI. With that being said, let's begin by converting our height. So we're gonna say uh, convert inches to meters. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna say meters is equal to our height. And instead of saying convert inches to meters, I'm actually gonna say convert height because that's the input that we have here. I don't know if you wanna say in parentheses, we're gonna say inches. That way we just remember later on that that's why we need to do this conversion. So in order to get meters, we need to take our height times 0 0.0254. 
And you might wonder, why are we just picking some random decimal point, Sean? Like, what's the point of this? First of all, you can Google it if you want, but I'll actually explain it. In every inch, there's 2.54 centimeters. And in every meter, there's 100 centimeters. So if you have 2.54 um, centimeters in every inch, and obviously that's the bridge between the imperial system and the metric system, you actually need to take that decimal point and move it two spots to the left. That way you get meters. So that's why we need to take our amount of inches times this to get the amount of meters. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and add another line here. We're gonna say convert our weight, which is in pounds, to kilograms. So for this one, it's going to be kilogram weight is equal to our weight in pounds, and it's going to be multiplied by 0 0.453592. And once again, super random decibel. You can Google it if you want. But if you think about it, in every kilogram, there is 2.2 pounds. And the inverse of that, uh, because we have pounds already, in order to get pounds over to kilograms, we need to multiply the overall pounds times this decimal point in order to convert it. All right, guys, now that we have everything converted, we can actually go ahead and calculate your final BMI. Let's go ahead and type in BMI is equal to, and the formula for BMI is your total kilograms over your height squared. So it's super easy to do. We're just going to say kilogram weight is going to be divided by, and then put in parentheses, our meters, our meter height, time the meters. Actually, let's fix the, the variable name here because I'm not a huge fan of it. We're going to say meter height is, is what we have up here, and we're going to actually multiply that by itself. So your BMI will be the product of um, your kilogram weight divided by your meter height squared. And then the final thing to do is go ahead and return our BMI value. All right, guys, now that that's out of the way, our program is complete. So let's go ahead and test it to make sure it works. So I'm going to just move this code out of the way here. I'm going to run my program. I actually brought up this BMI chart here. That way we can go ahead and um, make sure that we're getting the right number based on these inputs here. So if I'm aiming for a BMI of, let's say 23 is my number. First, I'm going to enter in that I'm 110 pounds. So let's go ahead and do that. So please enter your weight in pounds. We're going to type in 110. Please enter your height in feet and inches. If we go over here, 58 inches combined with 110 pounds should give us 23 as long as our program is operating the way it should be. So 58 um, inches is just short of five feet because five feet would be 60 inches. So this is four foot 10. So let's go ahead and go over here um, and we're gonna type in four single quote and then 10 and then a double quote and click enter. And when we click enter, we should have a final BMI of something near 23. So let's go ahead and do that. And you notice 22.99 or 22.99 is just about as close as you can be to 23. So we know that's working properly, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and run this one more time and use some different numbers just to make sure it's working. So if I'm aiming for a BMI of 29, and let's say, I don't know, my height's 67 or something. Um, you'll notice I need to enter in the weight of 185 pounds. So I'm going to say 185, click enter. And then over here, once again, my height would be 67 inches if I'm aiming for a BMI of 29. So 67 is 5 feet and 7 inches tall. So we're going to say 5 single quote, oops, 5 single quote, 7 double quote. So I'll go ahead and click enter, and you'll notice 28.97 is just about as close to 29 as you can get. Obviously, you're going to round up, so your overall BMI would be 29. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our video today. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. If you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more of it. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.